Perhaps the radio signal captured from Proxima Centauri indicates that there are billions of planets in our galaxy that could harbor life. The James Webb Telescope could help us discover these planets. The James Webb is one of the most impressive wonders created by mankind to observe space. Scientists believe it will be far more powerful than any other space camera launched by humans, allowing them to study distant objects in a way never before possible. Before the James Webb could observe Proxima b in space to see if it emitted signals, spacecraft such as Steel Horizons or Voyager 1 and 2 were used which were sent long before the first people traveled into space. Scientists want to find out if the lights coming from Proxima b are of artificial origin. What will the James Webb discover when it approaches this alien world and how it will change our lives? The James Webb could make a big discovery about artificial lights on Proxima b, which could challenge our understanding of the universe. The question of whether there are other intelligent life forms in space has intrigued mankind for decades. Proxima b, a world that has revealed some disturbing findings, is so far one of the most promising candidates for finding life beyond Earth. Why are scientists focusing on Proxima b? What disturbing things might have been discovered about this planet and how the new James Webb telescope help us understand them better? The stars in the night sky shine brightly, but we can see the planets orbiting around them with the naked eye. These planets, called exoplanets, are not in our solar system and are difficult to observe even with telescopes. This movie shows another reason why they are tricky to see. The experts say that some exoplanets have conditions suitable for life. These distant worlds may harbor life forms from other planets. Scientists have always been interested in these planets but their studies have been limited by the tools available. They have used new techniques for their investigations. Now there is a new player in the field. However, the powerful telescope scientists are not so optimistic as to expect to see aliens walking around, although it would be amazing to have an actual image of them. Instead, they are looking for signs that indicate the presence of life on these worlds. But what is it that identifies to science that a planet has living things on it? Scientists have been trying to find life on Proxima b ever since it was discovered that its parent star, Proxima Centauri, is part of a triode star. The other two stars are Alpha Centauri a and b, which share a center of gravity. Scientists are not sure whether Proxima Centauri orbits around the one pair or simply in the same neighborhood. You don't need a telescope to see Alpha Centauri. Three stars work together to make Alpha Centauri, the third brightest star system in the sky, and Proxima Centauri is the closest star to Earth, 4.24 light years away. The star is difficult to see because it is smaller and less bright than the other two, being a red dwarf. Proxima b has a very small orbit around its parent star, about 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun, Earth is 93 million miles from the Sun. People on Earth need special tools to see Proxima Centauri. Although our Sun is a very bright star, Proxima b is in the habitable zone of the star, which means that it could have liquid water. This habitable zone is much closer to its parent star than the distance from the Earth to the Sun because Proxima Centauri is cooler than our Sun. Proxima b is about 4 light years away. Scientists found Proxima b to be the closest exoplanet that resembles Earth. However, that doesn't mean we'll be able to send humans there anytime soon. Since with recent technology, exploring that world could take thousands of years. Proxima b cannot be seen by looking directly at Proxima Centauri, as it does not pass in front of it, making it difficult to determine its orbit. No one knows whether Proxima b's orbit is circular or highly elliptical. Astronomers also believe that Proxima b may not always have been habitable. If it had formed in the current orbit, it would have been hotter before Proxima Centauri became a main sequence star. Proxima b could have started so close to its star and stay there for a long time. It is very difficult to find exoplanets like Proxima b because they are hard to observe. Scientists have to be creative to discover them. That's why the first exoplanet wasn't found until 1995, even though there are thought to be trillions of them in our galaxy alone. 
There could be many more exoplanets than stars, and many of them are believed to be the size of Earth. The first exoplanet discovered was a hot gas giant, half the size of Jupiter, found in 1995. Its four-day orbit around its parent star made it pull so hard that cameras on Earth could see the star wobble. At least, they already knew what to look for using the radio velocity method of looking for stars, as with the 51 Pegasi b. As a star approaches or moves away, the wavelengths of its light compress and expand. These changes are caused by the gravity of the planets. Exoplanets can also be detected by the transit method. The Kepler telescope popularized this method, observing a specific region of the sky for years. Kepler observed some 150,000 stars for small decreases in brightness caused by planets passing in front of them. The mass and duration of this dimming can be used to determine the size of the transiting planet. Spectroscopy is another technique for searching for exoplanets. Scientists analyze the light emitted by stars after passing through a planet's atmosphere. This process breaks the light into its components as if it were passing through a prism, providing information about the chemicals present in the atmosphere. Using the transit method, the James Webb will search for life on other worlds in the universe. The telescope's coronagraphs will take direct images of exoplanets near bright stars. An exoplanet will appear as a dot in the images, not as a landscape, but scientists will be able to learn about its color, how it changes with seasons, vegetation, weather, and more. Experts are also looking for light or radio signals from intelligent alien species. The SETI project uses Allen's telescope, consisting of 42 radio antennas, to search for signals from the 20,000 nearest red dwarf stars, scanning a wide range of radio bands. Finding any form of life, even microbial, on a distant world would be significant. A microorganism could emit a chemical signal detectable by our powerful telescopes. Even if there were no life in that planet, gases in the atmosphere could provide important clues about how to understand them better. Let me know what you think in the comments box. If you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.